Good evening, everyone. This is another video with the Rateka V115. And if you've seen my earlier videos, you know that I have some questions about how good this radio is in the lower bands. And I'm particularly thinking of the 49 meter band. My feeling at the moment is that it's actually a bit better than you think above 10 megahertz, but I think at, in the 49 meter band at say six megahertz, it's doing less well. So what I've got for the moment is I have it hooked up to the MLA 30 plus antenna here with a clip. And first we'll see whether it overloads and then we'll see what's going on. It's just at dusk here. We should get sort of the usual stuff should be starting to come in on the 49 meter band. So let's have a look at that. And then I have a hypothesis about why it might be having trouble. And that is that it's not FM overload and it's AM overload. So at the moment, there is no AM filter on this. Then I'm gonna try it again with an AM filter in the line and we'll see what happens. So let's turn this on. Um, it's on FM. We'll put it on shortwave. And if you continue to press the shortwave button, it will jump through the shortwave bands. So we'll get it to a 49 meter band. Close enough. We'll go down a little bit. It's starting to pick up things that we might expect. Let's see. Well, I don't think there's anything there, but there, that's Cuba. That's Radio Marty. You might get 5160. No. Okay. So, it's pulling in a few things. But you can hear something coming in in the background. What happens when we unplug the antenna? It goes away. So that I think is interesting. I'll just turn that down for a moment. So I'm thinking that what we're hearing when I plug this in here, and I'll show it to you again. Plug that in. You can hear a voice in the background. I think we're getting AM breakthrough. And so what I'm gonna do is put an inline AM filter in and come back and we'll see if that makes any difference. So just for interest, this is the uh, AM uh, band stop filter I'm using. This is supposed to, I've had this on here before, this is supposed to be, we'll see if we can see any of that. So negative three dB, and then in the center of the band, minus eight dB. So that should make a bit of a difference. Um, I'm gonna keep the, I'm gonna remove this, but I'm gonna keep the uh, RTL-SDR plugged in just so I'm not changing the antenna configuration any more than necessary. Okay, so we've now got the uh, band stop filter in. It's not making any difference here. Let's go down a bit and see if it makes any difference. That sounded like FM breakthrough. We should have something on 6160. But not 6110. There's Cuba. Oh, do we get anything else down here?
so that's so that was um, definitely FM breakthrough that was coming in there because I recognized the station. So I think we can say that it is not AM breakthrough, it's FM breakthrough. And my guess is putting this uh, little board on has maybe perhaps made the situation worse. Anyway, um, I think that was an interesting experiment. I think this radio does not respond very well to the MLA 30 plus antenna. And as I've said in earlier videos, this is an extremely difficult location for overloading, both from AM and FM. Many radios in this environment will show FM overload. And it would be a bit surprising if something cheap and cheerful like this didn't. Okay, I want to try one more antenna with this little thing. I'm just going to try a real antenna and I'm going to toss it out my window here and see how that works. This is just a standard, I don't remember how long these are, uh, real antenna. Here we are with the real antenna installed. I'm holding on to the radio because it's running out the window. It seems to be doing better with this antenna than it did with the uh, with the MLA 30 plus, which suggests that part of the problem may have been the overloading uh, with the MLA 30 plus. You know, you can read the verses, but then you step aside and kind of look See, at this the is working picture, well. What's being said? And I'll read. Uh, so with a standard real antenna, this is actually doing okay. Let's, uh, just out of curiosity, let's go up. We could try here. Let's just see if it catches anything else. Wouldn't expect too much. So the answer is, that was Radio Marty again, as is this. So I think the answer is, with a standard, there won't be anything above there, with a standard real antenna, this is actually doing okay below um, 10 megahertz. So maybe, maybe it's more interesting than you think. All right. Thanks again for watching.